EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2003. Sitting near the tallest of the mountains in the Ozark Mountain Range, we're in Fayetteville, Arkansas for what should be a great game. And there's going to be some heat to battle in today's game between the Texas Longhorns and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Here come the Razorbacks. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Razorbacks are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Texas looks a little overpowering in this one. And I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Arkansas does not have the talent up front defensively to stop their running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. Texas has the ball teed up and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it off. Number three takes it from the six. Little shake and bake move. They'll get the ball here at the 25. The Longhorn bring in the nickel package. Set. Cut. 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 Number nine drops to throw. He lets it go. Complete. Number 21 with a takedown at the 39 yard line. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. First and ten, ball on the 39-yard line. The Razorbacks go with the I formation. Cut. Cut hard. Cut. Cut hard. Number nine, options out. Number 11 brings him down at the 40-yard line. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and nine, ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40 yard line. Set. Arkansas sets up with four receivers. They're on the option, makes a pitch. And he's stopped behind the line. That time they came with the blitz and caused enough confusion up front, they were able to get to him. Third down and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Razorbacks set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He guns it to the left. And it's caught. Number five with a takedown at the 41-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. Here's another look at that pass, Kirk. Look, Brad, what a great throw by the quarterback. I mean, this guy doesn't mess around. He sees his target wide open, gets him the ball quick. But look at the velocity on that throw. 
First and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Arkansas comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Set. Hut, hut. Hut. Nice spin move. Number 23 brings him down at the 40-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and nine, ball on the 40-yard line. The Razorbacks line up with three wide. Complete. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. They lose seven yards on that play. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 47. Number 20, alone in the backfield. Steps up, looks. He pumps once. And it's knocked away. The defense comes up with a nice play that time. Check out the replay on that one. It's fourth down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number three calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over at the 20. Number two with three wide receivers. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. And he's got all the time in the world. He goes downtown. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. 4-3 defense. Number 46 gets the carry. He's hit and got away. Number 56 with a takedown at the 26-yard line. A good six yards there by the fullback. Third and four. Ball on their own 26. The Razorbacks come out in a 34 defense. Number two still has it, lets it go. It falls incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. It's fourth down, four yards to go. Ball on the 26. Texas lining up the punt. Number three signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 32-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. They use four linebackers. Number nine, back to pass. Looking, he passes it. Number 80 has it, and he's tackled at the 49-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his roof. You gotta jam him at the line and throw their timing off. It's first and ten, ball on the 49-yard line. Number nine, lines up in the shotgun. Here's the option left. There's a missed tackle. 
And they make the stop at the 39. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there. And I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads-up play there by the QB. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Texas lines up defensively in a 4-3. They'll run the option. Number 45 tackles him for a loss on the play. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Number 20 lines up in the deep back. High formation. Tackle at the 39. Couldn't get anything out of that. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. It's third down and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 20 lines up as a single back. He drops back. He's under pressure. Rolls right. Let's it fly. And he dropped it. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on the 39. Number nine with three wide receivers. Number nine back to throw. He's looking for his man. Number 80 hangs on to it. They'll bring him down at the 25. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. It's first and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Texas. Comes out in a 4-3. He throws it. Incomplete pass. And that was out of reach for his tight end. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number 20 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Back to pass. Fires a bullet over the middle. Incomplete. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. It's third down and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out of the nickel. Drops back to pass. Looks. He pump fakes. He fires left side. Number eight. Brings it in. Touchdown. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he'd bat cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Arkansas, seven, Texas, nothing. Arkansas is ready to kick it away. Number 12 and number three back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 12, fields it at the three. And he did not have a good kick return on that one. No, some miscommunication there with his blockers. The coverage team just charged right in and took him down. They'll start this drive at the 16-yard line. The Longhorn line up with four wideouts.
He drops back. He unloads it. And it's caught. Brought down at the 24-yard line. An eight-yard gain. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Number two gives it up the middle. Number 22 brings him down at the 31. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. It's first and 10, ball on the 31. Defense lines up in a 3 4. Number 32 on the handoff, and he's hammered down. He picks up four yards on the carry. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 35. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Second and one, ball on the 40. Number 32 gets the carry. He's to the 50, can't wrap him up, to the 40. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. That run was really special. Oh, it sure was. That was a huge play by the halfback. He knows how to break a game wide open. And he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the second quarter. And the score, Texas 7, Arkansas 7. Texas ready to kick this one off. Number three and number 88 back to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Number three fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 20. The Longhorns line up with six defensive backs. Set. Put hot. Put. 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 Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Rifles it right side. Number 21 with a takedown at the 34. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and ten, ball on their own 34. Texas lines up defensively in a 4-3. Set. Put hot. Put hot. Put hot. Number nine, drops back to pass. Throws it out there. It falls incomplete. Well, he was under some heavy pressure there. Well, I agree there was a lot of pressure, but I think he can hold on to the ball just a little bit longer and deliver it with some confidence. Second and ten, ball on the 34. Arkansas comes out with an eye formation. Number nine, steps back to pass. He lets it go, complete. That was some catch. It was amazing. That play should get those other receivers fired up. Third 
third and four. Ball on the 40-yard line. Texas going with a three-man front. Drop back to pass. Here comes the pressure. And he makes a diving interception. What a play. Inside the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Longhorn. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that could happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And he hits the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Texas 14, Arkansas 7. Texas lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number three, fields it at the seven. I take this kid aside and shake him. He ran right into the coverage team. They'll get the ball here at the 16. The Longhorn put four men up front. the option. Fakes it. He lateral. He spins around. Tackle at the 20-yard line. The Razorbacks are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 20. Number 20, lines up as a single back. He drops back. He's looking. And it's caught. And he's finally taken down at the 48-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. It's first and 10, ball on the 48. The Longhorn come out in a 4-3. And that one's fallen incomplete. Right. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. The Longhorns come out in a 34 defense. Set. <laughs> Number nine drops to throw. Looking, lets it go. Complete, and he's taken down at the 37-yard line. Arkansas takes a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's first and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Number nine is back in the gun. Number nine, back to pass. He passes it, and it's caught. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Set. Number nine drops back. He rolls out to the left. He guns it to the right, and he dropped it. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. Number nine comes to the line with three wide. Number nine back to throw. He rifles it to the left. Off his hands, incomplete. That time the wideout just got too excited, too quickly, 
and forgot to catch the football. Boy, Lee, we continue to see this. It looked like he was ready to celebrate before he caught it. The Razorbacks with four receivers. Back to pass. Looks. Let's it fly. Incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. This should be an easy field goal. It's up. And it splits the upright. Arkansas ready to kick this one off. Number 12 and number 3. Back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 3. Fields it at the 9. There's a flag on the play. We've got an inter inter mask, mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard Five penalty. penalty. First, First down. down. First and ten, ball on the 27-yard line. Arkansas comes out in a 4-3. Number two gives it up the middle. Number 14 brings him down at the 34. Texas calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. The second down and three to go. Ball on their own 34. Texas comes out with five receivers. Complete. Number 85 with a takedown at the 39-yard line. The Longhorns call for a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. First and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. The Razorbacks bring in the nickel package. Number two drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. Number nine with a catch. Number 15 brings him down at the 42. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. The Longhorns are going to take a timeout, and now they've got no timeouts left. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He's looking. Fires a bullet out to the right. And it's caught. And they finally make the stop at the 21. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Texas, 14. Arkansas, 10. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 12, fields it at the nine. They'll take over at the 21. Arkansas lines up defensively in a 4-3. He's in trouble. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 30. The Razorbacks line up with six defensive backs. Set. 
Number 30 with a takedown at the 39. A gain of nine yards on the play. First and 10, ball on their own 39. They use four linebackers. Two, gives it up the middle. Oh, what a hit. They'll get nine yards on the play. Second and one. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Longhorn. Come out with split backs. Tackle at the 50. Good run there. That time they gave it to the fullback and he pounds it in there for a first down. Well, give an assist there to the offensive line. They gave him a good push up front. It's first and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number two with three wide receivers. Number 43 brings him down for a loss, and the blitz might have caused that one. Now the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. Second and 11, ball on the 49-yard line. 4-3 defense. Gives it up the middle. Jets a tackler. Number 56 brings him down at the 47. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. Third and seven coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. Arkansas lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. He throws it. And he can't make the catch. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Fourth and seven. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a punt formation. Number three calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 12-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 12. Number 20 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He unloads it, and it's caught. Number eight with a takedown at the 19-yard line. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Second and three. Ball on the 19-yard line. Arkansas lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Looking, he fires right. Number 28 makes the catch. He fired that ball in there. Yeah, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Texas brings in the nickel here. Hunt. Hunt, hunt. Hunt. Hunt, hunt. Number nine steps back to pass. Rifles it over the middle. Swatted away. That one could have been an interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 24. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. 
Number 20 gets the call. He tries to spin, and they got him for a loss. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Yeah, I think he's hurt his arm or shoulder on that play, but I don't think it's too bad. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Texas lines up with five defensive backs. Number nine drops to throw. Now he's scrambling, looks. Rifles it right side, and that one's fallen incomplete. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Fourth down and 12. Ball on their own 22. They line up to punt this one away. Number three, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 35-yard line. They'll go to work at the 35. The Longhorns with four receivers. Number two on the option, he laterals the ball. Number 32 with a recovery. Looks like the offense recovered the loose ball. There's a lot of risk-reward when you run the option. Sometimes you hit it big, and sometimes you fall flat on your face. Well, Coach, that was one of those times where they fell flat on their face. Luckily, they'll get another shot at it because they've maintained possession. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 38. They come out with four linebackers. On the ground, up the middle. Number 47 brings him down at the 40-yard line. That'll be a two-yard gain. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Texas 14, Arkansas 10. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Third and five coming up, ball on the 40. The Razorbacks bring in their dive package, back to pass, throws it out there. Number four has it, and they make the stop at the 44-yard line. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Fourth down, a yard to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Texas lining up the punt. Number three calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 23-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Four wide. Set. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a designed quarterback run. Here the defense does a great job of getting penetration and tackling him for a loss. Second and 13, ball on the 20. The Longhorn line up in a nickel back. Gives a little pump fake. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 24. The Razorbacks go with the I formation. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Number nine drops back. He's on the run. He's looking. Complete. Just drop a tackle. Number 28 with a takedown at the 32-yard line. That brings up fourth down and inches. This is what gives coaches gray hairs right here. Get the first down already. Is that what happened to you? Not so fast, my friend. Set. 
Number nine, back to pass. He lets it go, and it's caught. Number 23 brings him down at the 38. Number nine, back to throw. Let's it go. Number 20 hangs on to it, and he's taken down at the 40. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Set. Drops back to pass. Guns it across the middle. Complete inside the 30. And they make the stop at the 18. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. Number nine steps back to pass. He guns it to the right. And it's incomplete. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. They use four linebackers. He drops back. He passes it. And it's caught. Number 45 with a takedown at the 10-yard line. Guys, when we were at practice this week, you kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle. In fact, here it comes. Back to pass. He steps up, lets it fly, batted away. And that one was oh so close. Close call is right. If he just put a little bit more touch on the ball, that would have been a big play. But let's give credit to the linebacker. That was an athletic play there by the defense. They put everyone up on the line. They throw a flag. He's hit and got away. Number 49 tackles him for a loss on the play. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. The penalty the penalty is the line. Line. First down. First down. They'll take over at the 14-yard line. Arkansas brings in their nickel package. Number two gives it up the middle. A little juke. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Razorbacks line up in a 3-4. Number two gives it up the middle. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The Razorbacks call for a timeout. And they've got two remaining. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 25. The Razorbacks come out in a 34 defense. Set. Hot. 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 They hand it off. And down he goes at the 28. Arkansas takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's third and six coming up. Ball on the 28. Arkansas lines up in a dime defense here. Drives back to pass. He's looking for his man. Complete. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Let's have another look at that pass, guys. Well, Brad here is just a great throw by the quarterback. He does a great job of getting the ball to the receiver quickly. Therefore, the defense doesn't have enough time to break on the ball. First and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Little handoff. 
Spins up field. Number 14 brings him down at the 35. Nine yard pickup. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. The Longhorns come to the line with their jumbo package. On the ground, up the middle. He spins, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Arkansas calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. It's third and inches. This is the seventh play of this drive. 4-3 defense. Number 32 gets a carry left side, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Fourth and inches coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Fourth and short. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And it's caught. A good pickup on the play-action pass. Nine-yard game on the play. It's first and ten. Ninth play of this drive coming up. Arkansas lines up defensively in a 4-3. And that's the end of the game. Girk, what'd you think of this one? Without question, this is a tough loss for these players. Arkansas played a great game, and they should be proud. But I was not impressed with the way they worked the clock towards the end of the game. Wiser play calling and better clock management, in my opinion, would have made a difference in this game. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2003. And once again, our final score in this one, Texas 14 Arkansas 10. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long everybody.